o'clock. Five? Okay. Um, All right, so Facebook is live. The only thing that I want to test is the butt. Never worked for me. That never worked for me. I know she does. <laughs> She'd hit me back. <laughs> Mandy, how was Florida? Was it? Did you have any bad weather at all? No. Did it? Yeah, we had great weather. Hey, Kyle. Yeah. It was hot. Like uh, one day we were on a, we we're Cozumel. I think it was 91. Right yeah. 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 Do you want me to say something? Yeah, let's do a test. Do you do you want? I do I need to do I need to turn on the the um the uh, butt? Yeah, go ahead and do that too. Right now I'm checking the uh, the live, and that, I can hear you on that. Okay, it, it says stream time and it's running. So you always said you gotta do, always do something you've never done before. Well, so testing one, two, three. <laughs> I can hear myself. You got me on speaker. I, might, I can hear myself going. Freeze up. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, hang on. Nope. <laughs> so video looks good. Let me check the other one. Is that? <laughs> Welcome, folks. Panama Central School here at the Fred Finity Baseball Field. Well, who do you work for? Can you put it? this on your ears? Test it. It's live right now, so you're testing. Test one, two. Test two, three. Are you? What are you thinking, Brian? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. CSP Wolfpack Baseball. It, it takes about 30 seconds for it to come through. Delay. Yep. I got you. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I think we're good to go. All right, so I'll start the... Um, I'll start the baseball open here shortly. Okay, sounds good. I'll be listening. Okay, thanks. If I, if I, if I notice anything else, you get text. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, bye. bye. Yeah. And now, Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber presents Climber Sherman Panama Wolfpack Baseball play-by-play -play coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream at channel 989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance in Panama and Jamestown, Mosier Carpeting and Climber, Land Pro Equipment and Climber and Falconer, Catfish Pallet and Wood Services in Climber, The Cornerstone Restaurant in Sherman, ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com, Triple E Manufacturing, triple e mfg.com countertop solutions and by lictus oil and propane and climber lictus oil and propane.com and now let's head to the field for all the action of csp wolfpack baseball play-by-play -play. and good afternoon uh, ladies and gentlemen and welcome to panama new york for the opener for CSP uh, Wolfpack Baseball here on Channel 98.9. I uh, want to welcome you. My name is Kyle Hinsdale. My partner for most of the year is going to be Pat Catneys, and so um, uh, we're changing things up a little bit. Brian Willink retired uh, at the end of last year, and uh, so uh, Pat's uh, Pat's going to join us, and we're really looking forward to an exciting, uh, exciting baseball season here as uh, as the Wolfpack kick off their 2023 campaign with a uh, non-league uh, game against uh, Silver Creek. Um, Silver Creek going uh, 17, uh, 14 and six last year overall, uh, 10 and four in league play. 
They uh, reached uh, reached the playoffs where they lost to uh, Portville in the Class C semifinals last year. So this is a good uh, comp, uh, good test for CSP as we uh, as we kick off the year. Uh, Pat, have any thoughts on uh, on on 2023 for uh, the Wolfpack? Well, I think the Wolfpack is going to look pretty good this year. I mean, we didn't lose that many. We lost uh, a few seniors, but uh, we filled in pretty well on with uh, the younger kids coming up. It's a good good program, good coaching, and I think these boys are ready to play some baseball. So, and I think they're happy to be outside. Uh, you know, we had a partial game the other day against Southwestern and played an inning and a quarter and they they were starting to hit the ball so i hope that uh, they can keep that up yeah and the, and the story from uh, i wasn't there uh last week but from what i understand it was top of the second and uh there was a pass ball uh csp was at the plate it was a pass ball and the uh and the catcher mentioned to the uh, to the umpire that uh he couldn't see the ball through the snow so uh, eventually they called it uh, probably lucky nobody got hurt uh, but uh, so yeah uh, a shortened game uh, but uh, with the weather way it is today I'm not concerned at all about getting this game in and we're uh, and we're looking forward to uh, looking forward to, to starting the season as uh, most of you know CSP in uh, last year uh, went to the uh, class D uh, state semifinals uh, where they got beat uh, by uh, Chapel Field Christian in a um, in a game that didn't go the way that we wanted to. I think we probably had more in, uh, errors in in that game than we did all of uh, the entire year. But uh, it's good experience for a very young team uh, that we had last year, and so uh, we're looking forward to um, looking forward to uh, building off of uh, of that. As uh, as you may may or may not know, CSP. Uh, based on um, based on class sizes and for baseball moves up uh, to class C this year so we'll be playing uh, very similar schools but uh, from a playoff standpoint we will be uh, we will be in class C so um, so yeah, that's the likes of Portville uh, Gowanda uh, Salamanca uh, typically our strong uh, class C baseball team so uh, including uh, including Silver Creek so It'll be uh, it'll be a good test, and uh, we're looking forward to it. We're just wrapping up uh, warm ups here, and uh, so we're gonna run some advertisements, and we'll be uh, we'll be back uh, to uh, hopefully get the first pitch. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9. Chairman, Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This 
All right, we want to welcome you back uh, to uh, Panama, New York for the home opener, uh, season opener for CSP, uh, CSP Wolfpack. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, before the break, uh, CSP had a very successful year um, last year. Uh, Silver Creek uh, had uh, got to, as I mentioned, the, uh, the semifinals. They return nine players that had um, considerable amount of, of playing time uh, last year. Where they're going to be is that most of their pitching, a majority of their pitching, was uh, seniors last year. So, um, and the and their number one uh, player, Gavin Borello, um, uh, graduated, and he pretty much led every offensive. Uh, stat uh, that Silver Creek had so uh, so this is a little bit of a uh, inexperienced Silver Creek team but one that's got some games under their belt and uh, so I think it'll be a, a good test for uh, for CSP right from the uh, right from the very start and um, you know from a CSP standpoint Pat mentioned it uh, in, a, in the opening um, I think we lost uh, lost Michael Willink uh, we lost um, Lucas Dunnewald. Curtis Olson. Um, we lost Curtis Olson. Um, I think there was f four or five kids that we lost, uh, three of which, you know, played uh, important roles uh, in the uh, in the um, on the team. And so we 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 bring back a, a number of players. We bring back uh, particularly. Uh, Uh, another senior who's got a, a year under his belt, and both of those I know have played a number of baseball games uh, from the time that um, that we lost in the playoffs last year. But it's a uh, it's a very seasoned group, uh, and you know I think expectations are that this team is is going to do a lot of good things, um, a lot of good things this year. Yeah, I, I I agree with that. And then with Austin White coming back, he he missed the football season and he he played the half of the basketball season. So I think he's coming out here really hungry, wanting to lead this team and and get some wins under his belt, being a senior also. So I think that uh, I think this team's got some. High These players really like to play for these guys, and it, it's it's uh, it's nice because they're looking forward to the season. So, well, and I think too, Pat. The one thing that CSP has that I think is uh, is key, whether you're in C or D, it doesn't really matter. Um, in this high in the high school arena, you've got to have depth at pitching, and CSP can trot out. provide you with really good innings and um so really encouraged by I, I think that really separates csp from a lot of the other programs is is our depth at pitching oh absolutely absolutely i mean we we got anywhere from a sophomore up to a couple of se couple of sophomores a couple of seniors and you know a few juniors that can all throw the ball across the plate and get us strikes and and really move the ball well yeah, uh, it's not like they're just getting it across the plate. They're they're working with it, and they all have a multitude of different types of pitches, so they can work with it. And I don't think these these coaches are afraid to roll any of them out there at any time. And it'll be curious. I'm, you know, the one thing that this team, you know, when you when you enter a game, there's seven innings, you know, 21 outs. You want to you want to limit it to 21 outs. You you know, and any time you perform or have an error in the field. Um, that's giving the, the the team an extra out, and I, you know, the one thing about this team, particularly last year, is they just they had very few errors. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely, they're very good defensively, and um, you know, and and where we stumbled a little bit in the state semifinal game, we had a number of errors, and um, you know that might have been a little bit of a too big of a, a stage for for that young group, but. Um, but overall, I think this is a really good defensive team, and it'll be curious to see if it continues. You know, last year's success carries over into into uh, into this year. Well, the coaches are getting them ready. They're having that last-minute talk, and they're getting them ready to hit the field here. 
Silver Creek will be batting first. Um. And uh, we do have the um, we do have the lineup card for CSP Pat, so maybe we want to go through that and and uh, just mention where where kids are going to be playing. Uh, so our the lineup for CSP is going to be batting first to be Austin White, and he's going to be our pitcher today. Uh, batting second is going to be Dylan Michael. He's going to be in left field. Uh, batting third will be Gabe Roth. He's going to be at shortstop today. Uh, batting fourth will be Trent Burchanowski. He's going to be at second base. Batting fifth will be Tate Catneys. He's going to be at third base. Bryce Hinsdale will be batting sixth. He's going to be at first base. Grant Lictus is going to be catching. He's going to be batting seventh. Uh, batting eighth will be uh, Blake Copta. He's going to be in center field. And batting ninth is going to be Caden Beckrick, and he's going to be in right field. So it sounds like a pretty sturdy lineup to me. Yes, it does, right from top to bottom. And that uh, Brian and I commented about that last year. You know, Lucas Beckering or Lucas um, Dunawald was uh, – He needed a big hit. He came up yeah. with it. Anytime we needed a, a a good bunt to be laid down, he did it. And so you um, so you really never from a, as a as an opposing pitcher, you really never had an opportunity to take a break because you always had you always had a kid up there that could uh, that could hit. And uh, we have that same we have that same thing uh, same thing this year. So uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how this uh, how how this goes. Uh, you know, senior uh, Austin White's, White's getting the call today on the uh, on the mound, and um, you know Austin performed really well last year, and uh, as you mentioned, got hurt in the, in the football season. It took half of his basketball season away, and so he's uh, he's going to be excited to to uh, to have a strong baseball year. Yes, absolutely, and he's he's been looking forward to this. I And they love playing playing any sport together. They yeah, really enjoy they do. it. They do. You know, people say, "Well, how can you merge three schools?" Well, we figured out a plan here, and it's working out very well. Not only in baseball, but in football. And separately, and then they come together and play together for these other sports. So it's exciting. It's going to be an exciting season. All right, with the throw down by uh, Grant Lictus, that's going to get us. Uh, batter number nine, Cam Sackpal. Uh, there we go. Waiting for the umpire, and uh, looks like we're set to go. C credit to the Panama grounds uh, crew. Uh, the field looks fantastic. Absolutely. Which yeah. they, uh, oh, first pitch hits him, and uh, Sack Paul's going to get uh, the first base, and so not ideally the way you want to start it. And uh, but uh, Austin got that out of his system. Yeah, that's got that out of his that's system. That's how we got to look at that. And uh, got the nerves rusted off. So yep. um, next to bats, number 12, Sean Kelly for uh, Silver Creek. Ball high, 1-0 and against Kelly. We got uh, uh, Bryce Insdale's holding, uh, holding the guy on first. Nice pitch by Austin White, swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. I would not be surprised if Silver Creek is relatively aggressive here and, and tries to get uh, the base runner moving uh, early here in the count. Oh. Kelly looks to uh, put down the bunt and uh, swing and miss. So one ball, two strikes on Silver Creek's number two hitter. Might see the runner moving on this pitch. Austin's keeping him in track over there, so. Not going. So 
So the count stays at one ball and two strikes. But I would tell you, Pat, you're, you're going to know this way better than I, but um, to have a game on uh, April 10th uh, on the Panama baseball field is quite the accomplishment. Yes, usually we don't plan on May. Uh, that was a pass ball pass there. Ball. That was ball low, pass ball that's going to advance the runner from first Cal uh, sack Paul, And it's now two balls, two strikes uh, on uh, Sean Kelly from Silver Creek. Austin threw the curveball there, got in the dirt a little bit, and uh, Grant was unable to uh, unable to make the stop. On the second batter for uh, for Silver Creek. Ball outside, and that's going to be a ball four to uh, Sean Kelly. So we uh, five seven, 180 pounds. Swing and a miss and, there. Uh, swing and a miss there, but he was an integral part of their team last year at, just as a sophomore. Um, he's one of the returning. He would, I would imagine he gets the call today on the mound for, uh, for Silver Creek, um, but maybe not. But he's uh, – Oh, good. He's down early here, 0-2, after a foul tip. Um, so, again, runners on first and second for Silver Creek, 0-2 uh, on the batter. So Austin wants to be a little careful with this pitch. I would imagine this would be not in the strike zone. Oh, foul ball there. That's... Good thing the fence was up. That might yeah. have injured some folks. But. All right, so we got two strikes, and guys on first and second. You have to shot to third. He can touch and throw. Same thing a second. We turned a double there. That would help things out tremendously. Yep. And if you're an infielder here, um, you know, you want to be thinking right now, if the ball's hit to me, where am I going to go with it? Correct. Am I going to go to third with him? Am I going to go to second? What am I going to do with the ball if, if it's hit to me? Got him. Oh, base can't, is occupied. Can't go. So first strikeout strike of the year for Austin White of Aiden Piccolo. Uh, that gives us one out in here in the top of the top of the first and brings uh, number eight K Caleb Fiegel to the uh, to the plate for Silver Creek. Curve by curveball by Austin, just a hair inside. One ball, no strikes. You'll see Austin working from the stretch with three, the second base runner, uh, not holding uh, the man on first. Strike one for uh, against Fiegel for mm -hmm. Austin White. That was a high fastball. Uh, was not able to uh, was one, was not able to catch up to that. So one ball, one strike uh, for Austin White. Ooh, ball oh. low, two balls and one strike. Uh, one thing Austin, you know, he is moving the ball around. You see balls outside, inside, uh, high and and down low. So he is moving moving the ball around, uh, keeping the batters. Uh, off uh, off balance a little. There it is outside. Uh, nice pitch there. Paint, painting the outside part of the plate. So two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Infield's got to be thinking the same thing they were with that last batter. Where am I going with the ball here? Yep, one out here in the top of the first. <laughs> Foul ball. Foul ball tipped off of Grant's uh, glove. Still two balls and two strikes. Boy, this would boost their morale if they could get out of this situation with no runs scored. Yeah, that would first be very and helpful. second, first and second with no outs. Usually, 
does not end well, but um, really could use a ground ball or pop fly probably here uh, would really be beneficial. No. No, don't want to okay. do that. Yeah. Grant made a nice stop there. Yeah, made a nice stop. Guy from uh, second to third. I think it's two and two. Hit to Trent at second. Nope. Oh. Right. And that's, uh, that's uncharacteristic of Trent, but base hit. Uh, guy reaching on uh, on air, and uh, that's going to score two runs for Silver Creek. So two nothing for Silver Creek here in the top of the first. Still only one out for uh, CSP, and that's going to bring the catcher number four, Joel. Villa Franca up for Silver Creek um, CSP holding holding on the runner at uh, at first base here. Foul tip. Uh, so Austin up early here. Oh, uh, oh and one. Okay, so we got they got two runs. Let's get a double play here and, and get out of the inning, and then we, maybe we can. Do the same to them. Yeah, you can you can kind of feel and see, you know, first game jitters Absolutely. a little bit. Yeah. Good stop by Grant uh, to uh, keep the runner at first. Yeah, we failed One. to mention that Grant missed all of last year because of injury. So yep. you know he's just starting up again. He was, two years ago he was a, a great uh, great catcher. Yep. So he'll get it back. Yeah, he'll be just fine. Ball low, two balls and one strike for Austin White here with um, Joe Villafranca for Silver Creek at bat. And pitch, foul tip. Makes it two balls and two strikes. What a beautiful day it is today. It is. It is beautiful. It's supposed to be nice all week, from what I understand. We have three games this week, and optimistic we're going to get all three in. Ball low for Austin. That's going to bring it to a full count. Silver Creek ma making Austin go deep into uh, deep into the count on uh, on most of these batters. So uh, we'll have to monitor pitch count and how he's doing throughout the game. Oop. It's a half check of a swing. Check swing. Throw to first by Trent. First. We got one out. or got Two outs. Uh, two two outs. outs now. Good play by Trent. Slow roller. And that's going to bring number six, Bryson Parcel, to the plate for Silver Creek with uh, two outs here in the top of the first two nothing Silver Creek. CSP holding the runner at second. Foul ball with the first pitch to Parcel. Austin up early, 0-1. Oh, oh Oh, ball, zero, no balls and two strikes, so ahead here early. See if we can get uh, out number three here of the first. And uh, un field and unable to uh, corral. That's an RBI single for Parcel and that makes it three nothing.
three nothing uh, Silver Creek. There's some question. On Uh, number 10, John Steinwalks, walks comes to uh, some of these names. But John Steinwalk uh, comes to the plate for Silver Creek with a guy on first. Ball high, 1-0. At this point, you just want to get Austin and, and Grant to be playing catch a little bit. Yeah, and, and I think uh, Austin looks like he's settling in here. He, the first couple of batters, he was struggling finding the zone, but he's he's working it now. Yep. So Ball low, 2-0. Uh, and oh. There's a pitch on the inside corner, first strike. Two balls and one strike. If you're Austin, you're trying to get these guys to hit the ball on the ground. Uh, and uh, for CSP, you've got uh, easiest base, first or second, uh, if, you're, if you're an infielder. And uh, Grant un unable to block that, but he was – and then couldn't find it. So advances the pass ball, advances the runner to second. Now puts him in the scoring position for Steinwalk and uh, be important for CSP to try to get try to get out of this inning here. Walk. Ball ball low. That's a base on ball, so that uh, it's going to put first and second for Silver Creek. And uh, Coach Moreno wants to have a, a little chat with Austin, get everybody to settle, settle down a little bit. And uh, with that, we're going, to take, uh, we're going to take a break. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner and baked goods. All right, we're uh, we're back here. Coach Moreno had a brief conversation with Austin in the infield, and uh, now comes to the plate number sixteen, Ryan Mahalik. Uh, ball low uh, to start start off. Good block by Grant there. Uh, one ball, no strikes. But uh, I think what you want to see here, uh, Pat, is um, uh, Austin's not getting that low low strike called, and so it's going to have to adjust him. And, Grant are going to have to adjust to try to get that ball a little bit higher. There's a ball on the outside corner for a strike. One ball, one, one ball, one strike uh, for the eighth batter uh, of the inning for uh, for Silver Creek. Two strikes, good. One ball, two strikes for CSP and Austin White. Three nothing here. Silver Creek in the top of the first. Ball low. Ball bounces around. Really no harm. Advances the runners to second and third. Uh, but if you're Austin and Grant, you want to just focus on the batter here. Two outs. Two balls, two strikes. Caught by Caden Good Becker. Putt. Yeah, ball, line drive. I got to remember, Pat, that I got to talk during that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, line drive by number 16, Ryan Mahalik. Uh, great catch in right field by uh, Caden Beckerink, and that's out number three. 
uh, in the top of the first, but not at, until uh, not after not until Silver Creek scores three runs uh, to uh, lead three nothing here at the uh, at the middle portion of the first. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you. J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Service. Since 1993, find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716. Luck this season. Funding for this. Welcome back to Panama, New York, where it's the bottom of the first inning. Uh, CSP is going to get their first crack at, uh, at with the bats. Um, you know, at the end of the day, he always needs to get the bats going. So, um, you know, in high school, you know, runs are going to happen. So you got to uh, – you got to take care of your own business when when it comes to the offensive side of the of the ball. We're going to start out with Austin Austin White, going to be the leadoff hitter here, and want to help himself out here by getting on base and maybe moving up and have everybody get a few hits. They need to CSP needs to come back and do. Put the ball in play. Put pressure on the defense. Uh, more than likely, they're going to make a mistake. Yeah. And uh, number two, you want to get uh, you want to get base runners, and um, Silver Creek was able to do both of those things in the first inning. So, pitching we'll, for Silver Creek is uh, number twelve, Sean Kelly. I don't know what uh, what grade is he in. Uh, Sean Kelly is a senior. Senior. Okay. This. Uh, Lineup for CSP just much like it was last year's, littered with uh, lefties, and we see uh, the first one with Austin White uh, coming up uh, left-handed. He takes the first pitch outside, uh, one and zero uh, for uh, for Austin. Foul ball, one ball, one strike. Austin's on it. He just needs to straighten it out now. Austin's a contact hitter. He usually hits the ball someplace in the field to make him work for it. And here comes the pitch. Ball outside. Two balls, one strike. Good eye uh, for Austin. And just as it was... Uh, first game jitters for CSP in the field. I would imagine it'll be first game jitters for Silver Creek. So again, more uh, just as important to put the ball in play. Swing and a miss for Austin. Two balls, uh, two strikes. We mentioned Sean Kelly pitching for Silver Creek today. Doesn't throw overly hard, but uh, seems to uh, you know he puts the ball uh, puts the ball across the uh, across the plate and makes you makes you a hitter. Foul ball. 
Foul ball for Austin. Fights that off. Uh, two, still two balls, two strikes. And as a hitter here, you've got to protect. So Austin doing a nice job. Anything close. And here comes the pitch. Oh, good eye on Austin's ball, part there. Ball low. Three balls, two strikes. Nice to see from an umpire standpoint. It looks early on is it's pretty consistent. Uh, Austin was not getting that that pitch either. So um, three balls, two strikes. Here's the payoff pitch. And uh, that'll bring number three, Dylan. Um, Dylan Michaels to the plate. Dylan Michaels to the uh, – I, I was thinking of another. another <laughs> not a climber. Austin looking to bunt, and the pitch was in the dirt. Really nice stop by the Number four, San, Joe. Uh, Silver Creek catcher, Joe Villafranca. 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 Yeah. yeah. So I think early indications are that uh, Coach Marino wants to get that runner to second and uh, see if uh, if uh, Dylan can put down a, a solid bunt here. Ball outside, two balls and no strikes. Silver Creek well aware of what uh, CSP wants to do here. A bunt up the first baseline would be ideal here because that first baseman's holding Austin on. Yep. <laughs> and here's the pitch. Austin on going. Throw down. Austin in safe. Great job. Good jump by Austin. Good good job uh, on the bases. I uh, said, Dylan, if you're not going to lay down this bunt, I'm going to do it myself. And that's what he uh, that's what he did. So uh, immediately gets a runner in scoring position for uh, CSB CSP. Three balls and no strikes here. On Dylan Michael. Silver Creek holding Austin on a little bit at second. And uh, there's his first strike. So three balls and one strike. Good job by Dylan. If he didn't like it, uh, don't try to don't try to force that. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Dylan's even trying to bunt here too. Nope, he's... Swinging, and uh, I missed a strike somewhere yep. along the way. So that is out number one for CSP, and that brings Gabe Roth to the uh, to the plate. Big hitter for uh, for CSP. Um, important here with runner in scoring position to get uh, some sort of base hit out of the infield. Here's the curveball inside, ball one. I nice think about Gabe in this situation, he's pretty disciplined at the plate. He won't swing at bad pitches. So he should get the bat on the ball here and move Austin. That looked pretty good there, but yeah. said that was high. Two balls, no strikes. Gabe Roth looking to uh, get the first run, hopefully, on the board for for CSP. Austin with a big lead. There's a big, big swing. Wow. Big swing and a miss for Gabe. Strike one, two balls, one strike. Austin's getting a good size lead at uh, second. You like to think is going to score a run here. Pitch in the dirt. Be nice. ball three. Nice stop by the catcher. Yep, three balls and one. Uh, Save three ball and one. Three balls and one strike. Saved a base there because Austin would have been standing at third had that got by him. Oh, going back to oh, and there's an overthrow, and uh, goes to center field. Center fielder struggles a little bit with it, and uh, to the. Uh, 
that's a gift that Silver Creek just gave us, which is uh, an overthrow to the uh, pickoff, and that advances Austin to, to uh, third. So CSP with a runner here, bottom of the first, 3 nothing Silver Creek with one out, and Gabe Roth uh, up 3-1 in the count. And that's a ball four, so that's going to get a man on first and third for uh, for CSP and bring uh, Trent Burchanowski, who might be our best hitter, uh, to uh, to the plate. Thing about Trent, though, he gives it uh, gives it his all every <laughs> swing. He doesn't hey, leave anything not, behind. He's not going to be cheated. No, <laughs> there's nothing that says uh, just make contact. He is swinging to put that ball over the fence. That's for sure. Ball inside. One ball, no strikes here on uh, Trent as uh, CSP looks to uh, looks to get some runs on the board. I was a little surprised, Pat, that Gabe is not running there. He might be running on this one, though. Exactly my thoughts. They're going to be moving him, I would think. There he goes. And hit. there's a hit by Trent. That's going to be a Got base through. hit to uh, left field. Gets through that. Advantage. Gabe to third. Gabe to third, and that's going to. Trent hustles over to second. Yep, nice Trent's going to be a stand-up second, and that's going to be an RBI double uh, for Trent Burchinowski, and that's going to put the first run on the board for CSP, making it 3-1 to one, uh, Silver Creek here in the bottom of the first. Still only one out for CSP with runners at uh, second and third, and that brings – uh, to play one of our uh, sophomores, uh, Tate Catney's, uh, looking to uh, looking to get two RBIs here on uh, on the score sheet early on in the year. And there's a ball outside, called a strike, so no balls and one strike on uh, on Tate. Be nice to get a base hit here. That would tie. Yeah. Safe. Stolen wow. Base. Stolen home for Gabe Roth on a pass ball. And uh, I would have told you <laughs> halfway down. There uh, Silver Creek. And uh, that advanced, uh, Trent advanced from second to third on that pass ball. So uh, good job by Tate laying off that ball in the dirt. So Ball low, two balls and one strike. Heads up play over there by Trent. He saw Gabe going, so he filled that filled that void. He got over to the third. So yep. that was a nice play on his part too. And I agree with you. When Gabe was coming, you and I both stood here and thought, <laughs> "Uh oh." Ball high, three balls and one strike for Tate. It's got to be his here. And uh, on deck is uh, Bryce Hinsdale. Another lefty. Another lefty. I think we're going lefty lefty after Tate here. Mm. Boy, that ball Boy, looked outside, outside. But mm -hmm. Tate thought the same thing. He was heading down to first. Yep. Three balls and two strikes here on Tate. Anything close, he's got to be swinging. It's going to be a junk pitch, I'm thinking. And here's the pitch. Uh, oh, nice job. Alive. Foul ball off of, uh, by Tate, staying alive. Kyle, that's the thing about Panama, though. With all these trees and woods around it, when it's a foul ball, it's a lost ball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're not going to look for it. Nope. That's the benefit of being on the radio. You don't have to go look for the foul balls. Three and two, full count. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Ooh. There's Same pitch. Same Pretty close to being the same location, but this yeah. time it's a ball, and that's all we care about. So first and third for Bryce Hinsdale as he comes to the plate. CSP uh, threatening again, uh, top bottom of the first, 3-2 uh, Silver Creek. Can't imagine Tate won't be staying at first very long. No, nope, I, I would think he would be, uh, think he would be moving. you're Bryce here, you want to be um, just making contact, big gaps in uh, between center and right. That would be a nice little spot 
hit a line drive. And there goes Tate. Ball's in the dirt. Good job by the uh, – Tate almost injured himself sliding <laughs> into second down there. He must have got uh, – he got a sliding ability from his mother, we'll say that. And um, so it's one ball, no strikes here for uh, Bryce Hinsdale. Great opportunity Run here for Runners Bryce. at second and third with one out. A great opportunity to get a base hit here. Balls inside, two balls, no strikes. After after going through the first couple batters, uh, Sean Kelly, you know, was pretty much uh, over the plate. He's struggled a little bit um, here with the uh, walk to Tate and now uh, down 2-0 to Bryce. Count, yep, that's get right. Get that pitch count up there. And this early in the season, the pitch count is much lower than it is as we get into May. And so... Three balls and no strikes. And Bryce was given the red light on that one. And so watch that one go by. Three balls and one strike. See if he gives them another one like that and Bryce can do something with it. After the pitcher pitches, Tate's almost at third base. <laughs> Ball four. Bryce is going to take his base, so that's going to load up the bases here. For, for CSP and Grant Lictus is going to come to the plate, and uh, one of another lefty for uh, for CSP. It's a good spot. Gives Corners. give Grant some uh, give Grant some confidence here. Correct. Get yeah. a good nice base hit. Corners are in. So it looks like they're going to hit to the corners. They're going to bring that ball home. First pitch strike for Silver Creek, so it's no balls and one strike on uh, on Grant. Ball low, one and one, and they're holding Bryce. No, they're holding really none of the runners on Pat, so um, can get fairly sizable leads uh, on each of the uh, on each of the bases. So base hit here is going to at least probably score two. Uh, there's a curveball that uh, worked its way into the worked zone. Worked its way in. So <laughs> one ball, two strikes on um, on Grant. So got to protect anything close here. And here's the pitch, ball high, trying to get that curveball to curve back into the strike zone. Did not. So it's two and two. Grant looking at this this field right there. That second baseman, the first baseman. There's a pretty good gap there. Yep. He just put a ground ball through there. Or hit hey, that's a tough play. High fly ball to left. And Trent, the ball's caught. Trent's going to tag up and score. That's an RBI Set. fly out for uh, for Grant, and uh, that ties it up three three here in the uh, in the bottom of the. First, now two outs for CSP with still runners uh, in scoring position at second and a runner in uh, runner on first. And that brings to the plate uh, Blake Copta for uh, CSP. Ball outside, one and zero. Oh. They're holding. Holding Tate a little bit on uh, on first on second base, not uh, they're not holding Bryce on it uh, on it first, which makes sense. Want to hold that lead runner if you can. And here's the pitch, foul ball down third base side for Blake. It's going to make it one and one. That. Uh that uh, they're holding it Tate on at second, but that's probably the toughest pickoff play in at any level of baseball. Yeah. You got to turn your whole body and make that throw and well, make and, it good. And, and we know that we've already seen it. They they struggled with it once already. Correct. My, my guess is correct. my guess is they're not going to want to try to do that. Uh, try to do that again. Let's strike two on uh, Blake. One ball, two strikes. Here with um, 
CSP runners at first and first and second. And here's the pitch. Ball low. That was awfully close, but called it a ball, so two balls. Two, two balls, st strikes. Two strikes. Two outs, base runners are going to be running on contact here. And they got to be moving because that ball's hit to right field. Struggling a little bit with it. It drops. That's going to score one. Blake's going to go into, Bryce is going to stand up and score two, and Blake's going to stand up at second base with uh, with a base hit to right field. That right fielder, right f as soon as that ball hit the bat, that right fielder was struggling a little bit with it. So two more runs for CSP, making it 5-3 CSP here in the bottom of the first. And that's going to bring the, to the plate. Another lefty, Caden Beckerink. And he this, takes. This umpire really likes the corner, or the does. edges. He, he does. does. Yep. Yeah. You don't even really have to paint it. He just likes them out there. So Blake on second base with two outs. Uh, Caden down 0 1 here early. And another a swing and a miss. 0 2. For Caden, and again, uh, the thing that helped on that uh, Blake fly ball is, is that two outs, base runners are running. So Blake's going to be running on a on any contact here. Uh, so Caden just wants to get it in play, and there he goes. He it's a Could roller a really up the first play. first side. Oh, oh, nice play. Good play by great the pitcher. Play. That's yes, a great absolutely. play by the pitcher. I'll tell you, and um, good hustle by Caden Beckering, but uh, good inning for CSP. And uh, they put five on the board, and it's 5-3 CSP after one. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball. Eighteen five six Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and eighty nine twenty six West Main Street in Climber. Online at LandProEquip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel ninety eight nine Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Thomas Main Street Hogue. and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. All right, welcome back to uh, Panama, New York, where CSP in the top of the second. As we start the top of the second, CSP leads 5-3. to three. Uh, So busy first inning, eight runs in the first inning for uh, combined and... Um, that first inning took uh, <laughs> quite a while. I don't know what time it is. It's 5.53. Yeah, it took about, about an hour. <laughs> yes. yes. So uh, hopefully it speeds up because I'm not sure I'm going to have enough. We're going to have enough battery power pack to uh, <laughs> finish out this game. But uh, So uh, Silver Creek's going to bring to the plate um, number five, Thomas Hogue. A uh, junior, 5'10", 160, and then they'll be right at, back at the top of their order. And uh, Austin White's going to come out for uh, for the second inning. We saw we saw some activity in the CSP bullpen and uh, thought maybe we'd get a pitching change. But Austin's going to go back out there, which I think uh, up 5'3 is the right, uh, right decision and see if he can uh, find the strike zone here. And here's the first pitch. Down in the dirt, uh, one and zero. Oh, good stop by uh, good stop by Grant. 
standing up here on this hill, Kyle, them outfielders don't look very deep, but they're obviously at the right depth because the balls have been hit and yeah. they've been right in yeah, the area. Yeah, that's right. There's a swing and a miss. Strike one, one ball, one strike for the number nine hitter for Silver Creek. Be nice to get this first out and get this inning started that way. Ball high and inside for Austin. Two balls and in one strike, I I agree with you, Pat. I think uh, anytime you can can pitch from the from the wind up, it's a little bit more comfortable. Uh, Austin hasn't had a chance to do that much, and uh, we um, that ball's outside. So three balls and one strike here early uh, against uh, Thomas Hogue. There's a hit to center field, and that is over. Blake coped his head. That's going to be at least a stand-up double for for Hogue, and uh, Copta gets it in. Uh, Pat, you just commented yeah. about that you didn't think they were deep enough, but uh, to that point through the first inning, it, it had proven to be uh, not so much there. That was a nice nice piece of hitting by, uh, by Hogue, and he made good contact and uh, gets in there for his first hit of the year, stand-up double. And that brings uh, number nine, Cam Sackpal, the leadoff hitter, uh, to the plate here in the top of the second. Hit by a pitch in the first inning. So we don't know what he's truly got. Ball going outside. Third. He stops it. He's going to put the tag down. And he's we're blocked from it, but it looks like he was safe. Um, we don't know exactly what happened down there. But... Nope. Um, Anyways, Silver Creek's got a uh, got the leadoff runner now at third base with no outs and top of their order here uh, at the plate. And uh, that catches the outside part of the plate for a strike. One ball, one strike. On number nine, Cam Sackpal. And there's a line drive foul ball, ball, ball down the left field line. They'll make it one ball and two strikes. Now if you're CSP um, and that ball's hit on the ground ball, anything to the left-hand side of the field, you're probably looking the runner back, going to first. Anything to the right side of the field, you're probably giving up the run. Yep. That'd be right, Pat? Yep, yep. You got to look him back over here on the on the left-hand side. Uh, ball in the dirt there. Good stop by Grant. Two balls and two strikes. Important that Grant blocks those balls in the dirt because uh, with a runner on third, uh, it's every time he does that, it's saving a run. And there's a the sack ball with a short coming home with it. And got about great play. Oh, that was a great play by uh, Gabe Roth at, at shortstop. And we were just talking about that, Pat. If you uh, if the ball goes to the left hand side of the field, and uh, and they're going home, you want to look them back and then go to first. He was going, and and Gabe made the right decision. Uh, if you're the runner, <laughs> Gabe is not the one you want to test no. his, <laughs> test no. an arm on. No, that ball is going to get there very quickly. <laughs> and. Uh, it, it uh, was the, was there well before the uh, w before the runner. So uh, nice play. Uh, they, that is now uh, one out for CSP here in the one out here for CSP in the top of the second. It seemed like that runner was going the minute there was contact. Yep. He, he didn't never even, even <clears throat> hesitated. Never even hesitated. So uh, Silver Creek with the uh, sock pal on uh, on first base. Good stop by uh, good stop by Grant. I think it's two balls and no strikes here for the number number twelve number two hitter number twelve Sean Kelly for Silver Creek. And there's a line drive to center Quarter field second. base hit and. Got him at second base. Nice play. That ball was so hard hit to center field that um, they were able to get the throw it and get the lead runner at second. So really nice heads up play by both 
Trent Burchanowski and Blake Copta there to uh, to get that out. And uh, so a really nice job here through two outs of the CSP defense um, doing the fundamental things correctly. And uh, so now here two outs with a runner on first for Silver Creek, and that brings to the plate uh, Aiden Piccola uh, for, for Silver Creek. And pass ball, ball in the dirt, pass ball for Austin White uh, advances the uh, runner to second. Like I said earlier, you know, Grant Grant missed the whole year, and we were spoiled last year with Michael Welling back there. He he was big, long, and yep. he stopped everything in the in his area. Yes, he did. <sighs> There's a hit back up the middle. Trent comes over to make the play. Bryce with a stretch. And nice play. Nice play there. Uh, short to first, or second to first. And so um, a couple hits, but no runs there in the top of the second for Silver Creek. And it remains 5-3 CSP. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholish Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at catholishpallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholish Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball play-by-play -play is provided in part by Damon Energy. Since 2019, Damon Energy has been serving southwestern New York and northwestern Pennsylvania with energy solutions for your residential and business needs. The Power Perks Rewards Program as well as the Free Energy Program are available for both electricity and natural gas. More info at DamonEnergy.com or phone Craig at 716-490-7694. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Damon Energy. All right, welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball here on channel 98.9. And it's the uh, bottom of the start of the bottom of the second, 5-3 CSP with the lead. And uh, we're right back to the top of the order, back uh, batted through that, uh, batted through the order in the bottom of the first. So Austin White uh, comes to the plate. Uh, Austin, I believe, walked the first time. Uh, That's is that correct. right, Pat? Based on balls, yes. Yep. So, and that first pitch was in the dirt, uh, ball ball one, Silver Creek, much like CSP, Silver Creek sticking with their starter, uh, number 12, Sean Kelly, uh, comes out here for the, uh, for the second inning. They also had activity in the bullpen during. They did. Wow. We, we saw activity in their bullpen as well. So, that ball was high and outside 2-0 uh, and oh here. Ball outside, 3-0. and And just as we commented about uh, it was important for CSP not to allow the leadoff runner on, um, same, you know, on the flip side, if you're CSP here batting, you, you want that leadoff runner. Uh, it really can put a lot of pressure on, uh, on defense. And that one, uh, Austin had the red light as well. So three balls and one strike to CSP's leadoff hitter here in the Bottom of the second. Ball high, and ball that's going to be a base on ball, a second of the day. And that's going to get our leadoff runner on, and that's going to bring Dylan Michael to the plate. Uh, Dylan struck out in the first inning, 
after attempting to lay down a couple bunts, I wouldn't be surprised, Pat, if he's trying to do the same same thing here. Austin's got a pretty good lead at first. And there he goes with the bunt, and that's going to be a strike. That's going to be a strike one. So we'll see. I think he'll, uh, he's going to try to do that one more time and really just looking to put that ball down the first base, uh, down the first base line. There he turns, squares, gets back, oh. and that's a – uh, throw bad throw to right field. That's going to get Austin advanced to second, standing up. So uh, aggressive play by the catcher there, and his throw was off uh, off kilter and uh, made it to right field. And now we don't necessarily have to worry about uh, Dylan Bunny. And I think it's two balls and I think it's two balls and one strike. He coach still may a bunt here wouldn't be a bad no, idea though. It's not a bad idea. They're all deep now. All right, that's a good idea. Yep. That's two balls and two strikes, so he's going to be swinging away now. That those that ball was low. That's difficult, uh, difficult pitch to bunt there, for sure. All right, here's the pitch. Yeah, swing and a miss for Dylan. That's out number one here in the bottom of the second. And that's going to bring uh, Gabe Roth to the uh, to the plate. As we did last year, uh, Pat, if um, you know, for those listening, we're always excited to to uh, know where you're where you're listening or watching us from. That's a ball high, so if um, if you um, if you'd like, please leave a com uh, notes in the comments about uh, where you're listening to CSP Wolfpack. I think last year, when it was all said and done, we had uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 states um, throughout the year that were uh, that had listened wow. listened to uh, listened to the games. So we had people when they were not up here on vacation, so they were listening on vacation and. Uh, so it was it was fun to fun to do. So uh, encourage folks to let us know where they're listening from. And there's a hard hit ball to center field by Gabe Roth. That is way over the head of the center fielder. Makes it to the fence. He's going to stand up uh, second uh, second base with a double, and that's going to score Austin White uh, for CSP to make it six three. That was a well hit ball by uh, Gabe Roth to, to center field. The sucker made the uh, made the warning made the, track, made the fence for sure. So <laughs> nice, right. nice piece of hitting there by Gabe, and that brings uh, Trent brings Trent Burchanowski to the plate. I think Trent had a single. Do you have a single the first time up, Pat? He had a double. Double. Yeah, that's right. And he looks at a uh, pitch low in the dirt for a ball one. There's that big cut by Trent. That's the kind of his signature move right there. You're not, you'll, you, if you if you watch CSP baseball all this year, you're going to see that every single time. And, uh, and if you're hot, it's a hot day. Go stand by yeah. Trent when he swings because there's going to be a good breeze. One ball, one strike, and here's the pitch to Trent. Ball in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher. That keeps Gabe at second base. It's us two balls and one strike. And one out. And ball outside. It's three and one. So now he's got to come to him, and Trent's going to be looking to have green light for sure. One out here in the uh, bottom of the second. Silver Creek's got some activity in the bullpen again. It's like a big, long lefty warming up. And that's a ball inside, ball four. Uh, Trent's going to make his way to first base. 
And that's going to bring Tate Katniss to the plate with uh, CSP threatening again here in the bottom of the second with runners on first and second with one already across the plate. And it looks like, Pat, we may be having a, uh, a pitching change here. So with that, we'll pay some bills and we'll be right back. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. All right, welcome back, baseball fans, to CSP Baseball, where it's... Uh, Bottom of the second, 6-3, CSP with lead over Silver Creek. And CSP here in the bottom of the second has got runners at first and second. We just had a pitching change. And uh, number 15, Max. Number, Max Vagu. I don't know. He's a big lefty. Senior, and uh, no. What's that? Uh, he's a senior also. Yep. And that's a base hit for Tate Catney's down to left field. That's going to score at least one run. That brings Gabe Roth in. Really nice piece of hitting for Tate Catney's with a base hit. And that advances Trent to second, but not until uh, Trent crosses the plate. So 7-3 seven, seven now. Is that right? 7-3. Yeah, that was Gabe that crossed, right? Or Gabe, yeah. Trent's at second. Yep. yep. Sorry. And that brings Bryce Hinsdale to the plate with one out here, lefty on lefty. And that's a strike right down the middle of the plate. So no balls and one strike. Base hit here will more than likely score Trent. Ball inside. One ball, one strike. A big curve ball. That's going to be a pass ball, and that's going to easily advance the runners. So now we've got runners at second and third for Bryce. And I believe it's two balls and two balls and one strike. Let's see if we can get Bryce to get a base hit. It's going to score hopefully two runs. Looking to find a gap out out there. Hmm, that's a good pitch there. Two balls and two strikes after the fastball on the outside portion of the plate. It's got a, the pitcher's got a real long and slow motion, but yeah. he, throws a, he throws a nice baseball. Yep, he does. Two and two here. Bryce has got to protect. And that's what he did with a foul ball in the left field crowd. So he stays alive. I did notice earlier, Kyle, we got 
tiny little people out in the woods finding these baseballs for us. <laughs> yeah. That young man that brought me that one, he couldn't have been more than four years old. <laughs> Curve ball that didn't curve, and that's a high, making a full count. Three balls and two strikes to the number six hitter for CSP, Bryce Hinsdale. And that's a pop-up. And Bryce... Is a lucky man You've right got now. New life. Got new life. New life. Yeah. That was a pop up. There was some confusion between the pitcher and the catcher, and uh, so Bryce lives to see another day. So where that ball was positioned, that's a tough play for that catcher to throw that mask off and get out there. Yeah, you almost would rather the con the pitcher to take control there and and catch that. Yeah. Ball four. That ball's coming. Here's Trent. And he's out at home. He mm. tried stealing home after that pass ball. Bryce goes into second. We got players r stealing all over the place. But um, the uh, the pass ball was ball four. It hit the umpire in the shoulder. And uh, Trent tried on the pass ball. Trent tried to score. Uh, he was called out. So that's out number two. And in the meantime, Tate and Bryce each advanced to base. So we've got second and third with Grant Lictus at the plate. And that's a ball high. I think with that, that pass ball hitting the shoulder of the umpire, slowed it down a little bit and yeah. made that catcher get it quicker. Yep, I, <clears throat> I agree. And it still was a pretty close play. Absolutely. Trent with that hunt first slide tried to reach the plate. Big swing there by Grant on uh, strike number one. One ball, one strike for Silver Creek. And strike number two, that ball was a little low, probably something Grant would like back, but uh, now he's got to protect. One ball, two strikes. Ball outside. Good eye there, Grant. Two balls and two strikes. Two outs here in the bottom of the second. Seven, three, I think. Correct. Yep, seven, three, CSP. Them two runners will be con ball contacted. There. Oh. Yeah, that was a pretty nasty pitch right there. Yeah. Nice Curve ball for a strike, and that's strike three in the third out for – Silver Creek, but not until CSP puts some runs on the board. So it's 7-3 CSP as we look to go to the third inning, and we'll uh, take, a, take a break with them. Funding for this Channel 98 Bryce, Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane balls? and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued Seven, support. Three. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. 
This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Well, welcome back, baseball fans. Kyle Hinsdale with Pat Catney's here as we bring you CSP Wolfpack Baseball. Uh, it's the top of the, of the third, CSP with a lead 7-3. to three. And even though we saw uh, activity again in the CSP bullpen, uh, sticking with Austin White here in the, uh, in the third inning. And... And that's going to bring uh, four, or five. I think you mentioned Pat, four, or five, and six hitters for Silver Creek. So that's going to the leadoff man in this inning is going to be Caleb Fiegel, which is their yep four, five, six is right. He, he reached last inning or the first inning by an error. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. Hit the ball hard though. I think he hit it hard past uh, Trent. Yep, I think that's right. What we know, Pat, is is that as that sun's gone down, it's getting chillier and chillier. <laughs> Feeling like Wolfpack football <laughs> weather to me. <laughs> All right, here's the first pitch for Austin, and that's a base Shot hit. Shot at Bryce. Down hard to Bryce, and he makes a nice scoop, and that's going to be an easy out. And uh, one out for CSP. Nice play by Bryce Insdale there to stay down on that ball. That was a hard shot. Um, hitter was late. Uh, Fiegel was late on that pitch, and... Uh, hit a hard ground ball to Bryce and made a nice play. So uh, easy, one pitch, one out here in the top of the third. And that's ball number one, high and inside to uh, Joe Villafranca for Silver Creek. on it as well and that's going to be a foul, foul ball, ball down the down the right hand side and uh it's going to make it one and one here i've noticed one thing kyle with uh, with austin on the mound you don't need a pitch clock no he moves right along yeah, he, he moves right along i don't know so you bring up the pitch clock i don't know if you've watched many major league baseball games but Man, it, it is much more enjoyable to watch. Absolutely. Uh, games are lasting two and a half hours, maybe even less. And uh, there's a there's a shot, shot to, to center. center field, and that's going to get past Blake. And uh, he's going to gonna go to second base and stand up double. And uh, part of that might be because of how shallow we're playing, uh, Pat. But uh, that was a well-hit ball by uh, Villafranca, and that's going to be a um, base runner for Silver Creek with one out here in the top of the third. Brings Brayson Parcell to uh, to the plate. There's a tip for you fans out there. If you ever come to a baseball game at Panama, don't wear white shoes. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't wear white shoes, that's right. <laughs> wear boots. Yep. There's a hard hit ball up between short and third, and that's going to be a base hit. And runner's going to hold it third, and it's going to be first now, first and third for Silver Creek here in the uh, top of the third inning. So Silver Creek now third time through the lineup is getting a little bit of a beat on uh, on Austin, and they're they're finding some holes, finding some holes out there. So that's going to bring. Number 10, John Stywalks to uh, his first at bat to the plate. Still has one out here in the top of the third. And I would imagine Silver Creek's going to have that first. Nope, he's not running. And that's a pop up. See if Bryce can catch that. Uh, good job by. Great call. Called off. Great call by uh, Caden Beckrink. Really nice job there. You had three guys. I think Bryce was going to try to get it. He, Caden, which is the is the right move because he's coming in. Uh, much easier play for Caden. He made a great catch out there. 
uh, you could we could hear him from here uh, call it uh, call it off and so uh, great play by Caden Beckerink. That's an important out uh, for CSP. We still have runners on first and third now with two outs. Number sixteen Ryan Mahalik comes to the uh, comes to the plate. And he fouls that first pitch off. Austin ahead early, 0-1. Would be nice to get out of this inning without any runs. The way it started out, we were questioning it, but some great plays, and this could be the last out right here. Make it a clean inning. Austin... From the stretch, CSP holding the runner on at first, and there he comes. Played a short, nice, or third base. Tate Catney's with a nice play. Trent covers it. Easy out uh, for out number three. So no harm done there in the top of the third for CSP. Still 7-3 as we go to the middle half of inning number three. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholish Paladin Wood Services in Climber, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at catholishpallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholish Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Welcome back, baseball fans. CSP football or football CSP baseball. <laughs> it feels like it here. It the does weather, feel, weather wise, it feels like it. So, uh, but uh, CSP here in the bottom of the third, up seven three, and uh, we're going to start with Blake Copta and go to Caden Beckink, then the top of the order again. Silver Creek uh, is going to stick with uh, the pitcher that I think uh, Mac Max. V Vug, Vug, I probably have said that a different way every time I've said it. We're going to call him Max V. As we've done in uh, prior years, at least I think first year last was the last year, CSP with a modified JV and varsity squads. Uh, this year, which is uh, anytime you can do that, it helps build the program and uh, makes the program stronger. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully CSP can, can can sustain the success that they had last year for several years to come. And and uh, yeah, I think good. there was a lot of kids out for the JV program and the and the modified program. Yeah. All right, Blake Copta is going to lead us off here in the bottom of the third. I think, uh, if I remember right, Blake had an important hit, maybe scoring two back in the first inning. Blake had a double. Yeah. Yep. And he looks at ball one to start uh, start this off.
And ball outside, two balls and no strikes. This lefty's got a um, pretty impressive curveball, particularly against the left-handers. You, if you're a left-handed batter, you got to stay in there because uh, it uh, curves pretty good, and that's ball inside. Three balls and no strikes, I would imagine. Blake does not have the green light here. And that ball was outside, but called a strike. So three balls and one strike for CSP, and that's a ball, ball four. four. And so we do just that. And that's going to be that's going to bring Caden Beckrink uh, to uh, to the plate. when you're lefty and you're staring, you open up to it and uh, so no balls in one strike here uh, Caden Beckerink with a runner on first no outs here in the bottom of third and another he likes ball. throwing that curveball to lefties he, he does he didn't he doesn't do it much with the righties no but he'll do it with the lefties and no, because they can sit back on it and give it a hit. Yeah. <clears throat> but these lefties, it's going away from them. Ball outside. Caden trying to put that bunt down. Two balls and one strike. Coach Moreno trying to get that uh, leadoff runner in scoring position early. Steps off the rubber. Yeah. I don't know what that. I think the. Oh, he was asking about if he went or not. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's, you know, high school with only two umpires or two, two, uh, yeah, two umpires. It's, it's awfully difficult for that guy at second. Oh, foul ball there. That's going to make it 2-2. Two, two. But, you know, they're, you're asking an, an umpire at uh, or base base on it between first and second to try to tell if that left-handed batter went or not. Right. That's almost impossible. Two balls and two strikes here to Caden Beckerink. Runner on first and no outs for CSP. And that's a curve swing ball. and a miss. Nasty little curveball for out number one for Silver Creek, and that's going to bring Austin White, another lefty, to uh, to the plate. Austin with two runs scored today. I think two base on balls. Yeah. Uh, his first two at bats. And there's a base, a base hit, hit. Uh, well over the center fielder. That was a good good hit by Austin White. He's on his on wheels. Here comes. Blake Copta. Blake Copta is going to score uh, easily standing up, and Austin White's going to have a RBI double here in the bottom of the in the bottom of the third. And uh, good piece of hitting there by Austin, and that brings number three Dylan Michael to uh, the plate with. Um, one out here in the bottom of the third with a runner in scoring position. And strike number one, first pitch that uh, Dylan has seen. I think Austin hit that curveball. I think they kid through that curve, and he sat he, back and hit yep. it well. Yeah, he did a nice nice job of hitting. He hit it right back up the middle and nice line line drive. There he goes. Austin White's going. He gets down. That ball gets to the, uh, squeaks through and gets to the left field. Good job by the left fielder backing it up, but it's stolen base for Austin White. Now puts him in scoring position on whether it's a hit or even a pass ball. So 
Nice job by Austin being aggressive there on the bases. No balls, two strikes here on uh, Dylan with one out. And there's that curveball pad, and oh, yeah. that's a strike. <laughs> strike three, so two outs here for CSP, and that's going to bring that's going to bring Gabe Roth, Gabe Roth to the plate. Gabe with a stand-up double in the last inning, a well-hit ball to the fence, and uh, looking to do that same thing again here. Curveball low, one ball, no strikes. Pitch is high and outside. Ball two. Seven, three. No, eight. Eight three lead here in the bottom of the third. There's a swing and a miss. Anything in the bag. Never, never get cheated. No. Ball way outside. Three balls and one strike. Got speed at the on third base in Austin White, so anything past ball is gonna is gonna score. There's two outs here, so he's running as soon as the uh, bat hits the ball. High and inside. That's gonna be ball four to Gabe. So CSP's now got first and third with Trent Bertranowski coming to the plate. Trent had a hard hit. He might have had a double last time, too. That's correct. Uh, with a hard hit ball. And I would imagine that Gabe's going to be wheeling here to, uh, to second base, if not the first pitch, the second pitch. Throws it over to first. Dangerous play with a runner on third. Even, you know, it's not necessarily, you, and you could see there, that really wasn't a, a pickoff move. He just kind of, there's a slow motion over there, uh, maybe just to keep Gabe honest, but still it's a dangerous play with a uh, guy. Is a high and outside for ball one. I'm thinking Gabe's got the green light on this pitch. Yeah. Doesn't have much of a lead right now, but once he gets there. Ball outside, two balls and no strikes. I'm really surprised he's not running. <laughs> I, me too. I, I thought he was going that time, and he didn't. Uh, and the, and the importance of that is is that with a stolen base you get um, and a base hit you get you know you get two guys in in scoring position. At the foul ball for Trent, that's going to make it two balls and one strike. That ball didn't even plug, Kyle. I thought nope. we were going to have a plug base. First and third here for CSP. Trent at the plate with two balls and one strike. High and outside, and Gabe is going to go. That was a slow steal. And uh, so now we've got three and one runners on second and third.
And that was a nice curveball there, catching the outside part of the plate. Three balls and two strikes. Runners will be moving here now. The base open. No. Nope. Oh, got yeah, Trent. there's strike three. Pitch was outside, but CSP gets one across the board and makes it 8-3 as we conclude three innings here in Panama. We'll be. Family-owned Lictist Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware. We're at the top of the fourth here, CSP up eight to three. And we have some movement around in the in the field after uh, three innings um, on the mound of uh, relatively outside of the first inning, uh, efficient work by Austin White. Uh, Tate Catanese comes in uh, to provide some relief and, and this is uh, kind of a, a A lot of pressure on that starter. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we've got a lot of uh, pitchers on this team, and uh, and Tate being one of the uh, one of the star pitchers, so uh, going to get him some important innings here in the first game. That's going to uh, move Gabe Roth to uh, center field. Austin White's now going to move from pitcher to short, and we've got um, Colin Sturgis. Colin Sturgis. Yep, Colin Sturgis. Goes in uh, at third, and uh, so a little bit of movement movement here in the infield and outfield for uh, CSP, and that's going to bring uh, the leadoff batter for Silver Creek is Max Vago. So first innings, first pitch for Tate Catneys this year. A uh, very productive pitcher for CSP in the limited uh, limited innings that he got uh, last year. But uh, no hit, I believe. No hit Westfield in a five-inning uh, five game uh, late in the year last year. So uh, first pitch strike to to Vigo from, from Catneys. Ball in the dirt, ball low, one ball, one strike. Did I get that right, Pat? No hitter? Yes. That's what I That's thought. That's correct, yeah. Against Westfield. Yes. Late in the year. Ball outside, two balls and one strike. So it's going to be hit by pitch, and Silver Creek that brings the top of their order uh, back up 
Uh, number nine, Cam Sackpaul comes to the plate. Strike on the inside, no balls in one strike. We'll see how aggressive Silver Creek wants to get on the bases, not getting a big lead at first. So maybe CSP can turn two here. Behind us, to be honest with you, Pat, we probably could get that one, but we're not. We're not going <laughs> to. Nice curveball, and that actually was one ball, two. Nice curveball on the outside part of the plate. Sean Kelly, their number two hitter, comes to the plate with one out and a guy on first. Ball outside, ball one. Whoa. That and ball that, got caught in the fence. That ball got caught in the fence. <laughs> it was real late on that one. <laughs> it is stuck between the fence. That is. What do we got? One and one count here? One and one. Good curveball there that. Uh, Snuck in on the inside part of the plate. One ball, two strikes for Tate. Ball in the dirt. Grant unable to stop that. It's going to get to the backstop and advance the runner at first. So Silver Creek gets a runner to second base and puts a runner in scoring position for... Um, for Sean Kelly here, I think it's two balls and two strikes, I think. I need to get myself a clicker. <laughs> and there it is. That was a Strike great three. pitch right down the middle of the plate. Second strikeout of the season, second strikeout of the inning for Tate Catney, sophomore Tate Catney's, and that's going to bring the – Number three hitter up for base, and that's going to end the top half of the four. Relatively easy top of the four. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716. Best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sport. Carpeting and all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at MosiersCarpeting.com. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball play-by-play -play is provided in part by Damon Energy. Since 2019, Damon Energy has been serving southwestern New York. Boards program as well as the free energy program are available for both
116-490-7694. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Damon Energy. Welcome back to... Was warmer, much warmer earlier, but now the sun is still shining and we have no rain. CSP with a um, with a lead eight to three here as we enter the bottom of the floor. as the pitcher is going to see if he can help himself out here to start. I don't know what we got going on here. Play ball, so here we go. Ball outside. Normally, um, yeah, no, no guys on base. He's pitching uh, from the windup, wind up. but it's on Tate. And that's a ball right back up the middle. Hustle, and he's gonna out. He's gonna beat it. A nice hard line drive back to the pitcher. Pitcher hit the top of his glove and fell off and. Tate with uh, some wheels there that he also got from his mother uh, <laughs> was able to <laughs> was able to get the first. So for the third consecutive inning, CSP gets their leadoff man on, and that's going to bring Bryce Hinsdale to the plate. And that's a ball outside. Nice stop by the catcher to. Hold Tate at first base. Although that one there wasn't, but I would imagine he'll come back to it. One ball, no strikes. Runner on. Right down the middle of the plate. One ball, one strike. He's painting that outside corner on yep, Bryce. He is. One ball, two strikes. Now he's got to protect. Silver Creek's got some activity in their bullpen. And there's a hit uh, between second and short. Second, f first and second with a base hit for Bryce. Tate's going to advance to third. Yep. Good piece of hitting there by Bryce. Had to protect a little bit because he had two. Two strikes and uh, nice piece of hitting. So that's uh, now first and third for CSP here in the bottom of the four. Grant's going to see that curveball also, I think. But yeah, uh, if you can trust yourself to stay in there, and mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's not a hard. It's not. He's not throwing it hard. No, it's got a lot of movement on it. And there's a base hit or a shot down first. They're going to try to turn two. Bryce has got to get himself down. And we got activity all on? all over the place. But uh, long story short, Grant had a nice hit to first base. First baseman tried to go to second to get the lead runner. That ball uh, was misplayed and made it out to center field. That got Bryce to uh, Bryce to third. Uh, Grant's at first, and while all of that was happening, Tate scored. So that makes it nine to three. 
uh, CSP. Still with no outs. New batter here, Kyle. Colin yep, this Sturgis. is Colin Sturgis. He came into the game for Blake Copta. When they did all that switching around, moved and I believe the center and I believe Collins a senior, but I can't I'm mm. not positive on that. Not positive. We have Grant on first. Grant on first, Bryce on third. third. Wouldn't be surprised to see Grant stealing, although um not not the fleetest of foot uh, on first there. That's a strike. Swinging a strike. With two strikes on him. Ball outside. High and outside, almost a pitch out. Mm -hmm. Two balls, two strikes. Another high and outside. And that's going to break it full count with runners on first and third. Oh, swung a high pitch. Chased it a pitch out of the strike zone for strike three. So that's first out of the inning for Silver Creek. Caden Beckerink. Yeah, that's going to bring Caden Beckerink to the plate. Caden grounded out and struck out back uh, in the third. Strike one. Ball low. One ball, one strike. Nine to three currently. Caden likes that ball. He likes, likes those high chase. pitches. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, high he pitches. Does. That's the second one in, at this, in this at bat. So, Two strikes. Got to protect. There you go. And there got you go. Bat on puts the ball. One, puts one run. in play. That's an RBI. And Caden well, Beckerick is fast. Good he hustle. He is fast. Good hustle. Make it 10 3 CSP here in the bottom of the fourth. Lightning fast. All right, Austin. Ball outside is blocked. Oh, Grant didn't. Didn't see it Grant come out of him. Grant didn't see it. Grant didn't see it. And uh, nice job by the catcher getting in front of that. Yeah, there's one, one out. out. Colin. One out, Colin. Two, and that's gonna that's gonna score. Grant Austin goes into second, but we better. He 
He doesn't seem. My- Coaches I, are going out there now. I'm hoping, Pat, to be honest with you, I am hoping that it hit the brill the brim of his hat. And Well, he didn't hat, stagger or anything. No. So his hat immediately went flying off, which might have crumbled a little bit, but he didn't seem he went right after the ball. He seems uh, to be gonna, all right. They're going to keep him. Gonna keep the him they're going to keep him in the game. And nope, they're going to take him out. Which is probably the right move. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Probably needs to go into concussion protocol. <laughs> And that had to have hurt. He doesn't seem to be in any pain. Hiding it pretty hard. Yes. Because Looks like we're going to have, have a pitching change. So we're going to go. On the channel, yeah, I don't know where that ball this that oil kid. and propane sports stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage. Provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, and more online at triple E manufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important. Stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Oil and propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to CSP Baseball. We've had a little break in the action as we... was uh, hit somewhere in the upper uh, change while we were gone. And so uh, Max on Steinwalks uh, comes into pitch, and we have a pinch hitter for CSP. This is... Um, Drake D. Domenico. Uh, Panama. One attends Panama. Wasted no time. First pitch <laughs> no. swung right at yep. it. So he's he's ready to go. Good eye ball there by low, Drake. One ball, one strike. We've got... Um, We've got runners at second and third here for C. Up to the second baseman. He squeezes it for the second out of the inning.
lane for Dylan Michael there. That's going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate. Uh, Gabe with uh, big hits here uh, in uh, in the game. Yeah, Gabe's had two base on balls and a strong hit double. Pitch outside, ball one. Great play by the catcher there. Yep. Saved a run. Hits the pit, hits the catcher's mask, and then the Umpire. umpires. <laughs> Umpire, a little bit of time to catch his breath there. One ball, one strike. Fourth, 11-3 CSP. Underneath it, and he grabs it for out number three of the inning. Fourth to make it 11 3 CSP, and we will be right back. Funding for what this Channel 989 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climate. Homeowners, heating oil and propane service. And propane for their continued support. For East Main Street in Sherman. To, or find them on Facebook. The Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center, serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street. Broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John. West Main Street and Climber, online at LandProEquip.com. Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. All right, welcome back, baseball fans, and it, to Panama, New York, uh, Chile. Now, now, what is ultimately Chile, uh, Panama, New York? Where CSP leads Silver Creek 11 to three here in the top of the fifth inning. Just a reminder: there's a 10-run rule in uh, high school baseball uh, once you get to the fifth inning. So uh, CSP were able to hold them here to no runs and then score a couple runs in the bottom of the fifth. Uh, we would uh, it would be over. But uh, Tate Catney's Gets his second inning of the game, and Caleb leadoff hitter in this inning is Caleb Fiegel for for Silver Creek. No adjustments in the field other than I believe uh, Drake DiDomenico. and they checked. It's two balls and it's one ball, one strike here. Part he was Caleb Fiegel was way behind that, so 
One ball, two strikes. And way behind that one, too. And that's. He is. Uh, you don't have to worry about pitch clock with Tate either. He's he knows his dad. His dad's hungry and cold. <laughs> True statement. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing though, Cal. These pitchers they don't waste any time. They nope. they get the ball. They're ready to go. They so these batters got to be ready. The the uh, ball in the dirt there. Ball one, but uh, you know Grant's given Tate um, pitches that he wants to see and. And uh, you know, again, they're they're all on the same page, throwing what they want to throw. A high pitch that he swings at foul foul ball. This is number four, Joe Villa Franca, uh, who's here in the top of the fifth. One out, eleven three. CSP with the lead. Oh, curveball that didn't do what Tate thought didn't it was going to do. So, two balls and one strike. And good luck finding that ball. That's a foul ball into the woods, deep into the woods. That one's going to be tough to get. I don't see a lot of people running, Nobody's running, running over there to get running that one. for that one, Pat. Oh. Two balls, two strikes after ball in the dirt there. Good waste pitch for for Tate. Close. It was real close. Three balls, two strikes. Ah, okay. And he lost them. Ball four. It gets Silver Creek with the base runner here on in the bottom or top. He's had a couple of base hits this, this game, so. Good job by two. Oh, that wasn't good. Three. Tag. All right. So that was a ground ball to second base, although because of the guy on first base, between first and uh, second, to be honest with you, I may not have minded cover first but either way we now have runners on and first pitch to number 10 John Steinwalks is a uh, is a ball one ball no strikes Man, there's a base hit. There's a hit back up to the middle. Oh, That's going to be a slow roller in no man's land, and that is a base hit for Silver Creek, which gets a run across. In a bad spot. Well, the right, last two right have not between. hit the ball hard, but they've, bit them. Yep. they've hit them softly in spots that we just can't get to them quick yep, enough. That's right. So Silver Creek with one out and runners on first and second now. And there's a strike on the first pitch, so one no balls and one strike. Tate with uh, checking the runner at second. Make sure he's 
Staying close. Staying close. And, and my concern here, Pat, is that this batter is going to be late. And so anything late is going to go to that. Over there. A lot of opening there. But Tate, Tate's ahead early 0-2. Oh, oh he should be over into that gap. Curveball just outside. One ball, two strikes. And good block in the ball in the dirt. Good job by. Yeah, I don't understand why we have Ryan Mah Mahalik fights it off. Foul ball, so still remains three and two with runners on first and second. One out. Mm -hmm. ah. That's a ball four to load the bases. With one out here, and that's going to bring number 15, Max Vago, to so same thing here. We either could turn two, or if you if you're an infielder, you got to be thinking about where you're going to go with the ball if it's hit to me. There's a strike for Tate. No balls in one strike. Uh, catches that outside part of the play. Might throw the dark one here to see if that kid bites on it. Yep. And he did. Uh, he's. I think he's out, isn't he? Because his first base is occupied? Correct. Yeah. But that does, the uh, runner at third did... Uh, steal home, so that gets uh, Silver Creek with another run. Second, their second of the inning, fifth of the game, makes it 11-5 CSP. Uh, two outs brings number nine, Cam's Sack Paul, their leadoff hitter to the plate. Ball outside, ball one, one and zero. Oh. Runners on second and third. Foul ball, hit somebody there again. <laughs> Got yes. him, yes, called him out. Good play. Got him out, and that's out number three. Good hustle there by Grant and good tag by Tate to, to end the inning. Silver Creek gets across two to make it 11-5 to five through the first. Thinning. We'll be right back after these commercials. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 
Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at tripleemanufacturing.com. is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. In New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Paladin Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. And then, all right. All right, welcome back to the action where we are bottom of the fifth, CSP um, leading off here, Trent Burchanowski, uh with an 11-5 to five lead for CSP. And the hard hit ball foul oh. for Trent. Right down the line. Right down the uh, third base line. So he's on it early, just a little ahead of it. No balls in one strike. Curveball for a strike. Uh, so Trent down early here, 0 and 2. That was a slow moving curve right that there. That was a slow moving curve. Now Trent's got to protect here. Ball outside. One ball, two strikes. I wouldn't be surprised, Pat, if that ball was right back in that same spot. That slow curve. No, the oh, out, that's, outside. That's, see if Silver Creek see if see if he can if he'll chase it or not. No, that was a slow curve. Yep. Two balls and two strikes on Trent. CSP trying to look for the leadoff runner for the fourth consecutive inning. In the ball dirt. In the dirt makes it a full count. Three balls and two strikes. So Trent started out with two strikes, and now he's been patient enough to make him throw three balls. So yeah. now it's the uh, Trent's under control now. Pop up here in the infield. Catcher makes the grab. of the fifth. Not the contact Trent would would have wanted there. No. Well, maybe taking service off here. One out. Get on base. Bryce can move him around. And yeah, Tate could help himself here with a base hit. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes here to take at. Needs bottom of the fifth, one out. CSP with an 11 to 5 lead. Kyle, I'm thinking that if we're going to continue to do this commentating, we should get these schools to make a heated hut for <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. Brian and I tried to get that last year. It did not go well. <laughs> I can see that because we're standing here freezing. <laughs> I can't wait to the day we're in May when we're complaining about the heat. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Strike outside on take.
Oh. He was taking a whack. Here comes that slow curve, Kyle. We can stay back on it. Nope. Oh, there he goes. Golf's one to right field, and that's going to be good for a base hit. Nice piece of hitting there by Tate. Wasn't uh, get a base hit, so. That brings Bryce Hinsdale to the plate. Bryce has been out on the base all three times he's been up. So Ball inside for ball one. Tate's got plenty of speed if Coach Marino wants to get aggressive. Gonna throw him out. Ball outside. That's two and zero oh to Bryce. I think in this situation I'd try it. Bryce being left-handed, mm -hmm. he's always in the way a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here's the pitch. Bryce makes contact in right between first and second. That's a base hit for Bryce. That's going to advance Tate to third. Bryce. Good job by the two sophomores. And once again, Grant comes with comes to the plate with runners in scoring position. I think the first inning he came with bases loaded. This inning he's coming with second and third. I think earlier in the game he came with second and third. So, uh, and with uh, holding the runner on at, at second, there's a big gap between first and second base. And that ball's inside for ball one. One and oh on Grant. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. CSP up 11 to five. So if you're cold and hungry, you're really <laughs> looking for CSP to score four runs here. Uh, good job by good Grant hold holding off on that ball that was outside. It's two balls and no strikes. Quite a gap out there between right and center for Grant to hit yeah. the ball to. Ooh. Good, good cut. cut. Great cut. Good cut by Grant. He wanted that one. But goes down as a strike on the score sheet. Two balls and one strike. There it is. Uh, good. There right it is. There. Right where we talked, Pat. Yep. That's going to score... Yep. At least one run. Bryce has got to get down. That's going to score two runs. So a two-run single by Grant Lictus right where the hole was at. And really nice job of a uh, nice piece of hitting there by Grant. Helps himself out. And that makes it 13-5 13 to 5 13 CSP five. with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Colin Sturgis comes to the plate. Colin struck out, I believe, uh, his last at back. Yep. Ball outside. Ball one. Good swing there by Colin. Just a little... Missed it just a little, so strike one. One ball, one strike for Silver Creek. There's that there. slow curve. Yep, yep. Or just as it was with the lefty, when the lefty threw the, the slow curve, the left-handed hitters had to kind of stay in there. Right. Now the right-handed hitters are seeing it, and they got to kind of stay in there. 
One ball, two strikes here on Colin Sturgis. Good eye there. Ball low, two, two balls and two strikes. There's that slow curve again, and he got him. He throws that pitch really well. And well, it's in the bottom of the fifth. Caden Becker had a hit last inning. Well, Caden made good contact there, but going to be foul. That ball was high, and he loves them up there. He does like them high. So that was a long strike. <laughs> no balls, one strike on Caden Beckerink. Runner on first, Grant Lictus. After a two-run Out to the gap, right between. That's a good hit by Caden Beckering. That's going to advance Grant to third, and Caden Beckering's going to have a stand-up double. Good job by Caden Beckering. Hit uh, hit the gap between center and left. A ten-run roll, so thirteen to five here. CSP bottom of the fifth. Men on. Second and third with two outs, and that brings uh, leadoff hitter Austin White to the plate. Austin's had two doubles this game. The last two times at bat, he's hit a double, so that would be helpful at this point right here. Yep. That would bring the two we need in. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes. John Steinwalk. Uh, at the at uh, on the mound for Silver Creek, third pitcher of the day for Silver Creek. And that is off the end of the bat, foul down the left hand left field line. That one might have stung a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cold hands, ball off the end of the bat. One ball, one strike here. With two outs, the runners on contact are going to be moving. So catcher was trying to fake the running. The yeah, it was a little base bit of a runner, ploy there. Base runners by thinking it was went to the backstop. But and Grant just stood there. He yeah. <laughs> can't fool me. But with the uh, with two outs and uh bat on the ball, the running, runner's running. Anything out of the infield you would think is going to score That's two. right up the middle. And that's going to be right up the middle of the center field. Beckering's coming. Here comes Caden, and he's going to be he's going to be in for two runs, and I believe that makes it 15-5 to five CSP. And that's not it. So I don't know what the rule is. Maybe there's a different rule than what we know, Pat. That's 10. Good piece of hitting there by Austin White to drive in two runs. And they're going to, I think they're checking the books here for something. Well, by our book, it's 15-5. All right, then. And uh, so CSP with a five-inning.
Uh, all around, good uh, good job by CSP. Got good pitching from uh, Austin White and Tate Catneys uh, today. Got good pieces of hitting, really up and down the lineup. And um, you know, defensively, we were a little uh, skittish there back in the first inning. But other than that, I thought we played pretty well defensively. Yeah, we had them that first inning. Uh, you know, it was the jitters. You know, first game, first inning. And they, they came right back in the, the bottom part of the inning, though, and, and put up five runs to, to top off their three. So I think that got them settled down, and they, they played well since that point. Uh, we had a few errors, in the, like you said, in the first two innings. But after that, I think we went pretty much error-free. And the pitching came around. You know, Austin and Tate filled the void there and did a nice job getting the strikes and making, you know, the field played well. Yeah, I mean, really, Silver Creek, they – they put a lot of pressure on us in the first inning and got three of their runs, and then they went three innings with nothing. Right. And um, and so it was, uh, yeah, good good all around effort by uh, by CSP. Now CSP goes on the road for the first time uh, Wednesday night uh, at, at Brockton. At Brockton. Uh, so five o'clock start time on Wednesday night uh, in Brockton. That game will be. Uh, will be televised and broadcasted here on channel 98.9 on Facebook um, on Facebook Live, and you can listen to us on the radio on uh, at 98.9. So um, with that, uh, we will wrap it up here from Panama, New York, CSP with a 15-5 to opening season win to go uh, 1-0 on the year. And we will see everyone uh, Wednesday night at 5 o'clock in Brockton. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to this broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream at channel989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance in Panama and Jamestown. Mosier Carpet 